whole time. Hi guys and welcome to a charity shop haul. Hang on a minute, who's that? Hi Adam, how are you? I'm good thanks, how are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm good thanks, so uh, what are you up to today anyway? Yeah, I'm going around the charity shops today in Altrincham. Um, so yeah, wish me luck anyway. Um, hopefully I'll get a bit of footage for you, see if I can find something. See you in a bit. Yeah, yeah, that's really interesting, so uh, good luck with that anyway. So. On with the show. What have I got to show you today? Um, I got a few bits and bobs from the chat shops today, as expected. Um, I'm just going to run through a few of them with you. Um, and yeah, we'll see what come, come what may. Come what may, that's the saying I'm, I'm uh, thinking of. So first I got... Are we going to focus? Uh, 12 of these. In a big bag. 12 of those. Um, and I got them for a quid each, as it says on there. Um, and they're currently going on Amazon Merchant Fulfilled for 6 99 uh, No FBA offers, so gonna shoot for 15 on those. They're 89,000 in toys and games, so not gonna be a really quick seller, but they're not gonna be a really slow seller. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna shoot for 15 on there. Might decrease it slightly. I've got room to maneuver with them anyway. Um, and I should make some really good profit with them. So yeah, really happy to find them. All new and sealed, so yeah, that's really good. Um, I got a Kaplunk. Um, this is like the vintage one. Uh, there is a, an older one than this. I think it was a 60s one. I don't know whether Ideal did that or not. I don't know whether it was made by Ideal or not. Um, but yeah, MB this one is, and uh, 149 paid. The reason I got this, I know I keep saying no more board games, all that sort of stuff. The reason I got this is because this is one of the board games that I've sold consistently um, for sort of like 30, anywhere from like 12 to sort of 15 quid. Um, but it's always sold for me, so yeah, and it's never sat around for a horrendously long period of time or anything. So yeah, pick that one up anyway. Nothing yet, unfortunately. Oh, have you not got anything yet? Oh, sorry about that. I'm sure you will get something, though. Just just stick at it, Adam. So, yeah. Uh, so, what else have I got to show you? Um, I have this Bionicle Lego set thing. Now, I pick these up quite often. Where's the other one? There was another one around somewhere. Well, we'll get to it when I find it. Uh, oh, there it is. So, I got both of these, uh, that one was, oh, will it focus, yeah, 150, that's a Hero Factory one, 2144 is the set number, 150 for that one, and um, £2 for the Bionicle, I've not really researched these, but it's probably safe to say that if they're not rare ones you're looking at about 10 to 15 quid i sold these on the in the past before and i've got that sort of money for them uh, but if this one is like a rarer one it might be more um but conservatively you know 10 15 quid that sort of uh area so yeah that's those two uh, let's put all the stuff over here that i've done Old viewers of my channel, oh my god, um, old viewers of my channel, this is so heavy. Sorry, it is the wrong way around, but I'm sure you saw that 9 dollars uh, i say, old viewers of my channel will remember that I picked up a poker set ages ago for 3 99 I think I showed it on video. I think I did, yeah. I at least showed a few sales of it on video. Uh, excuse me, me, I am going to put that down because it's bloody heavy. Um... If you've ever picked up a poker set, you'll know what I mean. There's tons of chips in there, and they're so heavy on, on, on mass numbers. Um, so, yeah, anyway, £10 paid for that. As I say, I picked up one while back for four quid, and I parted it out. So, basically, I sold, like, all the green chips together, all the red chips together, all the blue chips, that sort of stuff. And I sold the case individually as well. And um, I think I got about 60 or 70 quid in total for, for the thing. So, from four quid, that was great. And uh, that one there, as I say, paid a tenner, um, and I'll do the same thing, so hopefully get 60, 70 quid back. Um, a lot of these go 
on auction or on buy it now very cheap as a full set but when I was doing my research when I had my first one that's what made me decide to go uh, the parting out with, with it because it seems to me like you get a lot more money money that way I mean they go so cheap just like on auction you know for, for the full set um, and I think people want like certain coloured chips you know we might either want more of a certain colour or maybe they are missing some or some get broken or damaged or whatever because I, I, I suppose a lot of people are playing this um, you know and drinking at the same time so chips could probably get uh, lost, missing, broken all that sort of stuff I don't know but anyway that's what I did with that one or oh, that's what I'm going to do with that one um, David McGregor paid up on this one paid two quid for this Beast Quest book because I needed it um, for a bundle uh, and I just wanted to get the bundle on so I did pay up, oh my battery's going on my camera I did pay up a little bit on it um, but yeah actually you know what I'm going to do I'm just going to quickly plug my camera in and then I'll be right back so I'll see you in a minute guys right then I think I've got a few minutes left in the camera um, yeah better be fairly quick because I've not charged it much at all um, but I can't record and charge at the same time don't ask me why they've not invented that function yet, but anyway, um, must be something to do with, I don't know, something inside the camera. Anyway, we'll move along. So, um, I, oh, are you having fun in the charity shops? Yeah, nice. Right, um, so, yeah, this is a Perfect Solutions coin sorter, quite a cool item, um, and I paid eight quid for this in the charity shop. It says it on the back there. Don't know whether you're going to be able to see that. Eight quid. Um, and yeah, I'm going to be looking to get like 25 plus postage for this. Um, maybe slightly less, maybe slightly more, but I'm going to shoot for 25 plus postage. I was um and ah in whether to take it for eight quid. I was like, hmm, I don't know. Because um, there's not a massive amount of profit in it, but yeah, I thought I'd, uh, I'll just pick it up. So yeah, picked up that one. One second, I'm just moving things around. There we go. Right, sorry about that. Um, yeah, PS3, new and sealed, uh, Tiger Woods PGA Tour uh, 2013. Randomly, uh, uh, this goes for 30 quid on Amazon FBA. Just crazy, really, but anyway, that's how much it goes for. I'm trying to be quick now because my camera's already flashing at me, so obviously I didn't even charge it any. Um, but yeah, so 30 quid on Amazon FBA, 4,000 in video games. So yeah, that's where that's going. So yeah, nice one that was. Um, and then final couple of items, just in the interest of uh, getting this done a bit quicker. Uh, Charlotte's 3 Minute Belly Blitz, the girl from Geordie Shore. Um, she lost a lot of weight, she did actually. Um, and yeah, that's that was one quid. It was a quid from the Chazza. Just do that, get my face out of the way, uh, one quid and that's going to be turned into about nine quid on Amazon FBA, so nice on that one. And then finally, just before my camera dies, uh, some speed stacks, um, yeah, some speed stacks, the green ones, just the green cups. You can either sell these as they are for like a tenner plus postage, or you can bundle with other bits and bobs of speed stack stuff. Um, I might just sell them as they are, pay two quid. Um, and yeah, I might just sort of just shift them as they are and uh, get, a, get a quick profit on them really. I know it won't be a massive profit, but I don't really see speed stack stuff like all the time. So, um, you know, it might, I don't want to just sat around gathering dust waiting for something that might never even come or might take a year to come. So yeah, I might just, uh, I might just whack them on now. Anyway, that's it guys. Uh, all that's left to say is goodbye. If you like the style of the video, please do give it a thumbs up and do please share it with the links down below. Um, if you want me to do this video again, let me know in the comments, as I say, with those thumbs up, sharing it, that sort of stuff. That, that lets me know um, that you like the video and you want to see um, this sort of content again. I wanted to add a bit of humour in and stuff and, and just mix things up a little bit on the videos. So anyway, I was rudely interrupted by my camera dying. So yeah, 
I will see you in the next one, guys. Thank you for joining us. See you soon, guys. Bye, guys. Hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Don't forget to go down below for exclusive content, all free, over on my website and blog. Updated every week just for you guys. So, see you over there.